This is episode five about the giraffe and the pallium me. Up above us, the giraffe was beginning to sing a little song, but she sang it softly, so I could hardly catch the words. I think it went something like this. My neck can stretch terribly high, much higher than the eagles can fly. If I ventured to show how high, just how high it could go, you'd lose the sight of my head in the sky. The pelican, with his huge beak full of water, flew up and perched on one of the top floor window sills near the monkey and now the great window cleaning business really began. The speed with which the t team worked as, a, as astonishing was astonishing. As soon as one window was done, the giraffe moved the monkey over to the next one and the pelican followed. When all the fourth floor windows on that side of the house were finished, the giraffe simply drew in her magical neck until the monkey was level with the third floor windows and off they went again. Amazing! cried the duke. Astonishing! Remarkable! Incredible! I have never seen out of any of my windows for 40 years. Now I shall be able to sit indoors and enjoy the view. Suddenly, suddenly I saw all three of the window cleaners, t -t cleaners stop dead in their tracks. They seemed to freeze against the wall of the house. None of them moved. What's happened to them? The Duke asked me. What's gone wrong? I don't know, I answered. The giraffe with the monkey on her head tiptoed very gingerly away from the house and came towards us. The pelican flew with them. The giraffe came up very close to the duke and whispered, Your Grace, there is a man on one of the bed in one of the bedrooms on the third floor. He is opening all of the drawers and taking everything out. He has got a pistol. The duke jumped about 40 feet in the air. Which room? He, he snaps. Show me at once. It's the one on the third floor where the window is wide open. The giraffe whispered. By gad! By gad! cried the Duke. That's the Duchess's bedroom. He's after the jewels. Call the police. Summon the army. Bring up the cannon. Charge! Charmed with delight, Brigade. But even as he spoke, the pelican f was flying up into the air. As he flew, he turned himself upside down and tipped the window cleaning water out of his beak. Then I saw the top half 
from the pen, the marvelous patterned beak slide out of his head, re ready for action. What's that crazy bear up to? cried the dude. Wait and see, shouted the monkey. Hold your breath, old man. Hold your nose. Hold your horses and watch the penny go. Like a bullet, the pelican flew through the open window and five seconds later, and five seconds later, out he came again with his or great orange beak firmly closed. He landed on the lawn, on the lawn beside the duke. A tremendous banging noise was coming from the from inside the pelican's beak. It sounded as though someone was using a sledgehammer against it from the inside. He's got him! cried the monkey. Pelly's got the burglar in his beak! Well done, sir! shouted the duke, hopping about with excitement. Suddenly, he pulled handle of his walking stick upwards and out the hollow inside of the stick itself. He drew a long, thin, sharp, shining sword. I'll run him through, he shouted, flourish, flourishing his sword like a fencer, like a fencer. Open up, Pelican, let me get at him. I'll run, I'll run the bounder through before he knows what happens to him. I'll spike him like a pat of butter. I'll feed his gizzards to my foxhounds. But the pelican did not open his beak. He kept it firmly closed and shook his head again at the duke. The giraffe shouted, The burglar is armed with a pistol, your grace. If Pelly lets him out now, he'll, he'll shoot us all. He can be armed with a match gun for all I care bellowed the duke. His, ma his massive moustache br bristled like brushwood. I'll handle the brighter. I'll handle the blighter. Open up, sir. Open up. Suddenly there was an enormous, there was an air splintering bang and the pelican leaped, leapt 20 feet into the air. So did the duke. Watch out! The duke shouted, taking 10 rapid paces backwards. He's trying to shoot his way out and pointing his sword at the pelican, he bellowed. Keep that beak closed, keep that beak closed, sir. Don't you dare let him out or he'll murder us all. Shake him up, Pelly, cried the giraffe. Rattle his bones, teach him not to do that again. The pelican shook his head so fast from side to side that the beak became a blur and the man inside must have felt like he was being scrambled like eggs. Well 
Well done, Pammy! cried the giraffe. You're doing a great job. Keep on shaking him so he doesn't fire that pistol again. At this point, a lady with an enormous chest and flaming orange hair came flying out of the house, screaming, My jewels! Somebody's stolen my jewels! My diamond tiara! My diamond necklace! My diamond bracelets! My diamond...